How to fix Crunchyroll full screen not working. Are you facing an issue while moving to Crunchyroll into full screen mode and are unable to do so? Crunchyroll has proven to be the best streaming service for watching anime, and it's even bigger and better after merging with Funimation. It provides several features to its users. Among all of them, the full screen mode stands as a hallmark, which enables you to completely immerse yourself in the vibrant world of your favorite shows. But many have been facing a lot of issues with the same. They are complaining that their Crunchyroll full screen is not working. And this issue is causing restlessness in their minds. If you are also facing the same trouble then don't go anywhere because, in this guide, we will discuss why is Crunchyroll full screen is not working and how to fix the same. Crunchyroll full screen not working. Why is Crunchyroll full screen not working? The issue related to the same can be caused due to a lot of reasons, each contributing to the frustration of the users. Below here we have mentioned some of the major reasons that can cause this problem. These are as follows. If your internet connection is slow or prone to interruptions, it can create hurdles in the loading of videos in full screen causing disruptions in your viewing experience. If you are using an old or outdated version of the Crunchyroll application, then it can impede the correct functioning of the full screen mode. Due to corrupted data within the app, the problem of the Crunchyroll full screen not working can arise. Device compatibility also plays a very important role because devices with limited capabilities may struggle to support the full screen mode. Sometimes there is a situation of technical glitches or bugs within the app. If this is the case, then any app features will stop working. As it affects its smooth functioning. These could be the main reasons that lead to the issue of your Crunchyroll full screen not working. Unite to find the correct cause of the issue and fix the same. Below we have mentioned some of the major fixes that can help you in getting rid of the issue. So have a look at them. How to fix Crunchyroll full screen not working. 1. When encountering problems with websites or browser extensions, restarting the browser is a common troubleshooting step to see if the issue persists. This is typically done to resolve various issues or to apply changes that may require the browser to start fresh. Restarting your browser can help in several ways including Crunchyroll full screen. To restart your browser, Follow these general steps. Close all open tabs and windows in the browser. Click on the browser's menu icon in the top right or top left corner. Select the option to exit or close the browser. After a moment, reopen the browser by clicking on its icon in your taskbar or desktop. But remember this process will vary slightly depending on the specific web browser you are using. 3. Many users who have been facing the issue said that by changing the display size in accessibility from small to anything else, they are able to go full screen in Crunchyroll. Steps to change your display size on Android. Open the settings app on your Android device. Scroll down and find the display option. Look for an option related to display size or font size. After making your adjustments, save the changes. They should take effect immediately. Steps to change your display size on iPhone. Open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on display and brightness. Under the display and brightness section, you'll find an option called display zoom. Tap on it. Tap on your preferred option, either standard or zoomed. A pop-up message will appear, asking if you want to use the selected display size. Tap set to confirm your choice. 4. Wi-Fi router 2. Having a proper and stable internet connection is essential for smooth full screen operation. If your internet connection is slow or prone to interruptions, it can create hurdles in the loading of videos in full screen, causing disruptions in your viewing experience. Since the Crunchyroll app uses an internet connection, make sure that you have a good internet connection. You may be unable to continue to get trouble related to the same in the Crunchyroll app if you do not have an internet connection. 
Try switching off mobile data and switching to a Wi-Fi network instead. It is also needed that the Wi-Fi is placed near the device for better signal strength. While experiencing a slow or no internet connection, it is suggested to reboot the Wi-Fi router. It depends on the internet usage and how often it is needed to reboot our Wi-Fi router. These are the steps to follow in restarting the Wi-Fi router. Simply switch off the router and unplug it from all the devices and power supply. Wait for 3 minutes and then plug it in again. Now wait for the signal to come back and connect to the internet through it. Ensure that you have a stable and strong internet connection and adequate speed. If you have a strong internet connection then it'll boost the performance of the app and help in removing the glitches. You can check the speed of your internet connection by running a speed test on speedtest.net. 5. If your internet connection is proper and stable then this is the very first step that you must take when any of your apps, including Crunchyroll, full screen stops working. Sometimes, just closing and reopening the app fixes the issue. Hence, quit close Crunchyroll and then relaunch it. I hope this will resolve the problem. But if the problem persists then try restarting your device. Simplify power off and then turn your phone or tablet back on. This leads to clearing temporary glitches that may be causing the issue. 6. You can try this very easy method which is trying to rotate your device horizontally. Because there are some devices that only support full screen mode only in landscape orientation. Therefore try rotating your device horizontally to see if full screen mode becomes functional. 7. If you have a multitude of background apps open on your device, several things can happen such as your battery may drain faster, increase in data usage, instability in your device's operating system, etc. It can also interfere with Crunchyroll's functionality. Therefore all you can do is close any other apps running in the background that you're not currently using. This can free up resources for a smoother full screen experience. 8. If you are using Crunchyroll on an Android device, there is a known issue in which the app might sometimes experience a problem. To solve the same, you need to clear the Crunchyroll data cache. Clearing the cache on Android. Go to settings on your Android device. Scroll down and select apps. Find and tap on the Crunchyroll app. Then you will see options like storage or storage and cache. Tap on it. Look for the clear cache button and tap on it to clear the app's cache. Clearing the cache on iOS, iPhone iPad. Go to the home screen of your iOS device. Find and tap on the Settings app. Scroll down and select General. Next, tap on iPhone Storage. Locate and tap on the Crunchyroll app from the list of installed apps. On the app storage screen, you should see an option to offload app. Click on it. And then by following the above steps, it will clear the cache from the Crunchyroll Nine. app. App updates often include bug fixes and performance improvements that address issues like full screen problems. Using an old or outdated version of the Crunchyroll application will cause other related issues. Also using the old or outdated version of the app leads to slow functioning which hints at pending updates of your application. Therefore it becomes very important to check for any recent changes to ensure the app's smooth functioning. For Android, Go to Google Play, My Games and Apps, Crunchyroll. If you can find the update button, tap it, and then, you'll get the latest version of the app. For iPhone, go to App Store, Crunchyroll. If you can find the update button, tap it, and then, you'll get the latest version of the app. 10. Crunchyroll Customer Support. After trying the above-mentioned fixes if you are still facing any difficulty in resolving the issue then you may contact the Crunchyroll support team for the same by clicking here.